Okay, right. Uh, tutorial number two on Blogger. What you want to do is uh, get on Blogger.com, not Blogger Spot. And uh, you know, you create your blog and uh, you sign up for one. Once you have one, and I'll log in here. Um, going to sign in and uh, you'll actually go through the process of picking a template for your site. So if um, I actually uh, view my Create Mule Productions blog, I can see it has certain colors and certain formatting, um, certain uh, width of uh, the right margin. What I just wanted to show you was uh, the different features of Blogger. There's basically uh, three areas, three main areas. Um, or you can manage your posts, uh, manage settings, and manage the layout. I'll just uh, delve into each one. And of course there's your profile. Um, you can have a picture for your uh, profile or not. Mine is listed here. And just has some age, mail, about me, blah, blah, blah. Um, my blogs that I have, interests, so forth. So uh, if you wanted to pick, put a picture of yourself up there, you could. But back to the main settings here, basic, publishing, formatting, comments, archiving, site feed, email, permissions. So um, basic, you got your title and the description which will appear at the top of the blog. Do a control new, I'll show you where that appears on the blog. The description will actually appear um, right up here, for instance. Mine says, Chris Mule, making sense out of Sinalera, Linux, HDV, and video production. And there's a little hyperlink there for a uh, XML feed. This XML feed um, goes into uh, RSS reader. Um, RSS is something called Real Simple Syndication, where um, if you like a certain blog, people can actually click on this in their news reader, and uh, they will be notified whenever there are updates to your blog. That's pretty cool. Back to the settings section in Blogger. Here's the text of that header. And then what I have in here is a little bit of HTML. Um, and this is a little code, the ampersand MBSP semicolon. HTML code meaning, hey, actually create, th in this case, three, three separate spaces. And then, uh, I have a little HTML uh, hyperlink, and this is a uh, HTML tag. Whatever you want to hyperlink to, um, you put it in between uh, the quotations here. And and uh, actually, there's a um, after the closing parens here, uh, you'll actually put the text. So Adam feed in between a closing at tag. So that's that's something a little more advanced, but I thought I'd just tell you. This is HTML stuff. Don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> uh, title description. Add your blog to our listings. Yes, you definitely want this. Show quick editing on your blog. Um, yeah, basically, when you're logged into Blogger, and uh, when you're logged into Blogger and you're viewing your blog, you'll see a little um, little pen icon, and that means that you can just edit your blog entry right there as you're viewing it. Uh, show email post links, and uh, that basically, uh, when people are viewing your blog, uh, these links appear there so that people can uh, email posts from your blog to their friends. Okay, um, this is a global settings compose mode for all your blogs, uh, transliteration. Uh, compose mode is like a WYSIWYG editor. Um, and then uh, transliteration, um, I, don't, I don't know what that is. I don't do that. Okay, next tab, uh, publishing. Um, I have made changes. But I'm not going to save those changes, so I'm just going to click OK. Publishing section, it says, you're publishing on blogspot.com. And this is my blogspot address. And uh, that's what you type in your browser to get to my site. So that's cool. 
uh, send of pings, ping blog update notification services that may that many individuals and services use to track blog changes. Yes, you want to uh, ping the notification services so uh, you get the word out about your uh, music. Formatting. Um, this is just a formatting of each uh, blog entry. You know, you can uh, show seven days of blog on the entry, the date header format, you have a bunch of choices for those. Uh, archive index, form date index, another, you know, formatting stuff. Time stamp, time zone, language, uh, convert line breaks, um, show title field, you know, the title of your blog entry, show link fields. Um, load alignment, post template, you know, stuff like that, formatting stuff. Uh, comments, this, this section controls uh, how people can comment on your blog. Um, you can show or hide comments, uh, who can comment. You've got only registered users, anyone, or all, only members of this blog. So, um, you know, I, I have like only registered users so I don't get a lot of spam in there. Comments default for posts. Uh, new posts have comments. I don't know. I just left that at the default. New posts have comments. Um, backlinks. Um, not sure what that is. Comments time timestamp format. Well, another formatting. And uh, comment form message. So if, when your uh, people are entering in a comment, um, you can send them a message here. And uh, a couple other options we have in the comments window. Show comments at pop-up window, enable comment moderation. So in other words, uh, when they send you a comment, you can either uh, choose to uh, have it published or not. Show word for word verification. This is for the comments only. So when someone, uh, someone writes a comment, they just have to uh, enter in the uh, They'll see a graphic with five or six letters, and they have to enter in the letter, each letter and number that appears in that graphic. And this is in order to prevent spam on your blogs. Show profile images on comments. And that's kind of cool, because when you get a bunch of people on your blogs, and they're on Blogger too, they'll show a picture of them. Uh, comment notification address. Gmail. That's uh, just a address I use. Uh, archiving, archiving, archiving frequency. Uh, enable post pages. Uh, post pages give you uh, give each of your posts their own unique web page, which is nice because then you can forward those to people. Uh, site feed, and uh, yeah, you definitely want to have uh, a site feed because that will allow um, the news readers to easily grab your um, blog content. Post feed redirect URL, eh, don't, have, don't need to worry about that. Email, um, enter an email address here to have your blog mailed to what blog ma mailed to whenever you publish. So if um, whenever you publish you um, want to send it to uh, your own address or someone else's address you could uh, you could do that mail to blogger address um, if you want to post via an email instead of going to blogger you actually want to post by sending an email to an email address and have that email automatically turn into a post on your blog you can do that and then if you go to the permission setting, uh, you can see uh, blog authors. Uh, for one, for instance, uh, you can have multiple authors on a particular blog, like I have for the uh, Storm Pigs blog. So all the guys in the band, you know, they can they can post to the blog. And then uh, who can read this blog? Anybody? Only people I choose. Only blog authors. So that's pretty nice. We're just gonna cancel out of there. <laughs>